What's going on, guys? Sid, Sid's Autograph site here, uh, doing my weekly picking video. I uh, got some good stuff the past couple days. Uh, I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible. Uh, you can see I'm in my garage here uh, where it is hot as hell. Uh, I don't know if you guys have been following the weather at all in the Midwest, but it's been between 105 and 110 just about every day. So uh, it's sucking pretty bad out here right now. Uh, but the fun all began yesterday. Um, went to this one thrift store, and uh, every Friday everything is like a, uh, it's a mystery sale, uh, some kind of mystery special that they do. And today um, basically mirrored Mondays, which at this thrift store every Monday is half off day. So they decided to do half off day on this particular Friday. So uh, I think I cleaned up pretty well. Spent uh, $20 and some change on what you're about to see. So, get right into it. Uh, first up, normally $10, I paid five. It's a bucket of Legos. Uh, for you picking novices, uh, Legos sell pretty good. Uh, normally, you can probably get between 15 and 20 for a bucket like this. It's probably three or four pounds of Legos. Um, my daughter's already been playing with this, so there's a couple pieces missing. Uh, like In particular, one of them uh, is a police boat, which is really cool. Um, big bucket of Legos. First uh, Lego buy that I've ever done. Uh, but Legos are extremely popular. Uh, next up, a couple of uh, slot car racing uh, sets here. This is a Matchbox Speed Track. Uh, I did check these out before I bought them, and they appear to be mostly complete. I think this one might be missing a car. Uh, this is from 1978. Still has the instructions here. Um, uh, cleaning the track. And here's the controllers here. Um, the cars were in here. As you can see there's one car. Uh, it's a police chase set. So it's missing the police car, it looks like. Um, maybe if I dig some more, I'll find it. But even still, in this condition, I mean, I am still should be able to sell it. I don't have a doubt in my mind that I'll be able to sell it. Well, I won't say it. I think I'll be able to sell it even with a missing car. Uh, it was $5. I paid $2.50. And here is another one here. Tyco Magnum 440 Pro Racing. Again, $5. I paid $2.50. Um, this thing is huge. Let's see. It's uh, 1981. I'm, I'm sure you can't see that date, but. 1981. Uh, crazy, I've never seen a set with a piece like this before. There's a controller there. Looks like it's got some uh, extra parts here, which is always a plus. And it's got the transformer there. And I know it has at least one of the cars, because here it is here. Uh, looks like it's a piece of it's broken off, but actually it has the other car. Uh, looks like it's got the instructions down there. Uh, there we go. Couple different cars. So it's got at least three cars. Ah, shit, it's hot. It says it comes with two race cars, so it's actually got an extra car. So I'll be able to put that extra car, even though it didn't come with this set, I can put the extra car with that set, so you get two cars. So. Really happy to find these. 
stock cars so here they go. If you ever come across stuff like this, definitely buy it. Um, then, found this cool book, The Encyclopedia of Magic and Magicians. Um, always been a huge, huge fan of magic. Um, used to practice it back in the day, and actually my father uh, practiced magic. Um, he was a little bit younger, I think in his 20s and 30s, he practiced magic. Um, I wish I still had his magic set, because uh, it's a Gilbert magic set, and it's worth some money. But I do not have it anymore. That's real cool. Uh, normally $3, I paid a buck fifty. Uh, I got this book here, Gnome's Fun Book. This is from 1976. Um, it's an activity book and coloring book. None of the activities or pages have been colored or cut out. So it's a mint book. Let's see what that does. This one's really, really cool. It's Walt Disney's Bambi. It's an old library book. And it's a Disney read aloud film classic. It is a first edition from 1982. Uh, every page is a still from the film. It's awesome. You know, not believe the price that I paid for this. It's just crazy. Um, there isn't any of these on eBay right now. I looked. Um, there isn't any Disney read aloud film classic books, period. Much less Bambi. Obviously, it's not in the greatest condition, but um, I paid half of 15 cents. This book, when it has a red line through it, it's automatically half off. So it was 15 cents, and then I paid half of that, which is like a nickel. I mean, that's crazy. Picked up another photo novel. Uh, this is Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I used to have this book. This is like the second or third time, actually, I've owned this. Uh, you guys might remember I picked up Bug Rogers not too long ago. So now I have Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Awesome. Picked up this slide rule. I'm not going to take it out of the thing here, but it's a Sterling Decimal Trig Multi Log Slide Rule. I paid a buck. Um, depending on how well you list it, this can go from two or three dollars all the way up to twenty dollars. So of course I'm going to list it the right way and hopefully get twenty. Picked up a cassette tape. Paul Revere and the Raiders. You guys might remember that I picked up a uh, Paul Revere and the Raiders band signed photo. So I decided to go ahead and grab a cassette of their music. Best of Benny Hill. Paid 75 cents for this DVD. It's an 87 minute DVD. All the best of one of the hilarious British comedians ever. This is awesome here. Paid $4. This is all basketball cards from the early 2000s. I think it's from 2002 to 2005. Um, I did open it up because it was set out in the rest of the store. It wasn't like behind the counter. But I did check it out. There are inserts. Here's a Tim Duncan insert. Uh, there's a Michael Jordan insert. Here's these scratch-off cards. One of them is Kobe Bryant. Uh, I got a bunch of, the, of these LeBron's Diary inserts. Uh, there's a Playground Rules insert. There's another LeBron's Diary. There's a Paul Pierce Air Academy insert. LeBron's Diary, LeBron's Diary. Charles Sprewell Air Academy, LeBron's Diary. A bunch of those, like I said. Um, there's a bunch of inserts in there. There's a Shaquille O'Neal insert, I forget what it's called. But I've definitely, definitely made my money back, and I haven't even really gone through these cards yet. So, I'm really happy with that. So that's yesterday's haul. Now today, my town was having a town-wide yard sale. And all that you see here, I paid $6.75. That's what I paid for everything here. That's crazy. I walked out the door with $19, and I came back with most of that. I paid $6.75. All right, got this signed cassette here, Cheryl Kartsanakis. Um, she's a religious singer. 
Her husband, Dino, is more famous than she is, but eh. this is awesome. Country Music Legend, Boxcar Willie, Country Music Show video signed by him right there. Uh, Boxcar Willie died in 1999. Um, he lived in Branson, Missouri, and put on a really good show up there in Branson, part of that whole big Branson, Missouri uh, entertainment thing. But this is awesome. Um, video is in great shape. Very nice. Very cool signature there. Got this book here. Championship, the NFL title games plus Super Bowl. Um, illustrated paperback. Awesome. Um, these three things were at... We're at one uh, dealer. I only, I only bought stuff from two different people. Um, all this here is from the same guy. And then these three things. Check this out. I literally paid 50 cents for this. True Romance. Unrated Director's Cut. Two disc special edition. There's both discs. They're in great condition. This was one of my favorite films back in the day. I mean, I'm not going to pass that up at all. It's awesome. And look at this train spotting for a quarter. Really? That's crazy. Two disc special edition. And then the best part of this particular story was these autographed pictures. When I opened this up, I actually was already open. And this was on the front. It was already open like this. I was like, oh, hey, how much for the signed picture? Oh, she's like, well, there's like six of them there. How about $2? I was like, oh, okay. So I opened it up. First we have Sammy Kershaw, signed 8x10. Pirates of the Mississippi, signed 8x10. It's got their fan club information on the back. We got Perfect Stranger, signed 8x10. Tracy Lawrence, signed 8x10. Not entirely sure on the authenticity on that one, but it may be authentic. Uh, Mark Colley, signed 8x10. And one unsigned 8x10, John Anderson. So $2 for five. Well, four definitely signed, possibly five. That's amazing. Got this book here from Ben Hunt. Awesome Indian historian and craft maker. He did all the illustrations for his book. How to make uh, Indian artifacts and whatnot. I have a lot of his books. I collect his books. My dad and I used to um, make Indian artifacts. And he got me interested in, in Ben Hunt. This is one book I didn't have. It's awesome. And we got the Star Wars storybook. I had this book many, many times in my life. Very, very cool. Got the E.T. storybook. And very cool. Second or third time I've owned this book. And I got this book here. Couldn't pass this. Uh, this is still sealed. This is Disneyland, the first quarter century. It's a hardback. Uh, still sealed in plastic. Hell yeah. Got a bunch of stuff here. Got uh, an Atari TV games. Plug and play. Uh, it's missing the bottom thing here, but uh, I did put batteries in it. And as you can see, it works. It's got asteroids and centipede. Awesome. Uh, I got the Campfire Girls hardback book. This is an old book. Uh, I got some stuff for my wife here. Some bobbins with thread on them. Couple old vintage boxes of thread bobbins. Got an 
Oklahoma Driver's Manual. Uh, it's from 1937. Crazy old. I uh, got this here. 1982 World's Fair in Knoxville, Tennessee. Made in Japan. Little thing here. Old issue of Mechanics Illustrated. Uh, let's see. 1955. Very cool. Um, got a bunch of these Lions Club patches and little flags. Here, I'll put those up. There's a lot on eBay. See what happens with those. Just a bunch of these things. Haven't even really gone through everything here. Just introductory guide to Japan Youth Exchange through Lionism. Interesting. We got this NBA Opoly officially licensed product. Appears to be complete. And I got this box of magazines here. Uh, there's one of the post, 1961 Eisenhower on the cover. It's cool. I haven't even gone through all these very well, but most of them appear to be this magazine, The Instructor. Uh, I'm trying to find a year. Uh, 1949 is so this copy here. So I don't know if these are rare or not, but I think I paid a dollar or two dollars for the whole box. So, I mean, like I said, I paid. Six dollars and seventy-five cents for everything that you saw. So really nice stuff. Very happy with uh, what I got the past two days. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, you know, always please PM me. Let me know. I'll try and help anybody out that I can. Uh, I'll be doing a mail day video probably tomorrow. Uh, so that's it for me, guys. Thanks a lot. See you.